But we've all heard the phrase, it's never too late to learn something. But some teenagers in Cuba are proving it's never too early. The Cass Putnam Rescue Squad in Cuba is made up of about 17 volunteer medics. And most of them are either still in high school or just graduated. Kyle Beachy has that story. A team of mostly teenagers makes up the Cass Putnam Rescue, the only first response team inside of a high school in the entire state. And it's right here in Cuba. I started the program to get kids involved because we need to train the next generation. Chief Bob Schnarr started the cadet program two years ago. They go through an intensive class uh, for first responders. It's not just classwork though, it's hands-on. They're actually dealing with a trauma patient, whether it's stopping the, the bleeding uh, or if it's putting an airway in to make sure you keep them breathing. And if an emergency happens during school, they get a text message and they have a pager that goes off while they're in school. In Illinois, you only have to be 16 to be a provisionary medic, so Schnarr's daughter jumped when it was her chance. Well, I wanted to follow in my dad's footsteps. Uh, my dad has always been my inspiration and in wanting to help people. And she wasn't alone. Being able to start at such a young age is helping in the long run. That way I can have hands-on experience. Together, the younger Schnarr and Lester have gone on over 400 rescue calls from cardiac arrest to drowning to car accidents. Those are high-stress situations. But one sticks out. It was a one-year-old, and it wasn't bre he wasn't breathing. It was only me and Taylor, and we were both under 18. And we were both really scared, and, you know, we didn't have any supervision, but we went. I was focused on trying to help and do what I can. And then afterwards, it kind of hits you. I think it was the most scariest thing, and I think that will go with me forever. Don Locke was the first save the cadets made after he had a heart attack. Just like there was like a truck or something sitting on me. Minutes count on something like that. If it hadn't been 10, 15 minutes more, why like, it'd been a different situation. He says their age didn't show, and he's forever grateful. And these kids just jumped right in there and started. They were great. I got to see my grandsons graduate, and the oldest one's getting married in September. So, <laughs> And the next generation of cadets are ready to go. I wanted to help the community the same way they helped out my family. Figured I'd help other people out, and it gives me the chance to uh, learn new things. Chief Schnarr and the cadets want this program to catch on. If we keep this going and it spreads out, then other people can do it too. Most of them plan to use these skills they've learned. I want to take a teaching course so I can teach other future first responders. My goal is to get on a paid department as a firefighter paramedic. They're going to use these skills the rest of their life. How many people can say that at 16 years old uh, you went out and saved somebody's life? You know, four, over 450 rescues that they've been on and they're just turning 18 years old. Reporting in Cuba, Illinois, I'm Kyle Beachy. 25 News.